to using basic search. In this tutorial, you'll get an introduction to using Jira's basic search as you use basic search to find issues. Join me as I help Max, a server engineer, when he requests my help as his scrum master. Hmm. I need to review my team's issues in Jira, but I'm just not sure how to do that. I was hoping you could give me a quick introduction. I'm glad to. Remember, Jira contains issues collectively detailing the work your team does. With Jira, you assess and analyze your work so you can see how your team is working and plan future improvements. The key is to use Jira's search functionality effectively. To do this, you need to ask the right search questions to get the issues you're looking for. Basic search is all about making your task of asking these questions easy and fast. You start from a screen called the Issue Navigator. The screen says Search, but it's known as the Issue Navigator. The Issue Navigator is the page where Basic Search displays its results. You see the issues returned from a search query here. This is where the fun begins. You can ask simple questions using the Basic Search or ask really specific questions using the Advanced Search and JQL. But how do we find the issues we need? Well, if we're looking for a book in a library, we identify a few attributes and start our search. For example, we might look for a book with a title, Alice in Wonderland, and an author of Lewis Carroll. In the case of JIRA, the attributes we use for searching are fields. Remember that fields are where the issue's data is stored. You create search queries based on those fields. Now it should be clear why it's so important to understand the nature of the issues in your projects, specifically the fields in the issues. Knowing what the fields are and the type of data each can store allows you to create the queries you need to be a Rockstar Jira user. Let's take a look. An issue in Jira can have fields like this. Notice the search criteria in the basic search bar. They correspond to the fields in the issue. Makes sense, doesn't it? These are the hooks available to you through search, so you can grab just the issues you need. Let's say you want to know at any time what work you need to do. You could start with a simple question like, which issues are assigned to me? Let's see how to search for these issues. You can use basic search to find issues for any assignee on the project, including yourself. Hey, hold on a second. You just said I can select any assignee on the project, but I don't see all my team members in the list. Very observant. Once you've searched for an assignee, their name appears in this list. If you don't see their name, you can start typing it where it says Find Users Groups, and the name appears. From there, you can select it. But for now, let's stick with you. I'll select the checkbox next to your name, and immediately the search is executed and the list of issues changes to include only those issues assigned to you. What I've just done is created a simple query which contains three elements, a field, assignee, an operator, equals, and a value, max Taylor. In JIRA, this is known as a clause. Okay, this is good. But what if I want to see all the issues for the Teams in Space project? How can you phrase it in a way that JIRA understands? All right, so I'll select Teams in Space from the project dropdown. And now we're seeing all issues for that project. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. In this tutorial, you've learned to build simple queries to find issues with JIRA's basic search. 
take some time to apply what you've learned in your own project. Open your instance of JIRA and go to the Issue Navigator. Use the basic search to find issues in your project, your issues, and unresolved issues. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.